Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix no limit coin wallet crashing or not syncing issues. So if you open up the no limit coin wallet and you see error loading blkindex.dat, or if the wallet is getting stuck syncing, or if it's actually crashing with another error, it usually means the blockchain files may have corrupted for your wallet or there was an issue updating the wallet. There's no need to stress your coins are still safe. We just need to make a backup of your wallet.dat file and re-download all the blockchain files again using your existing wallet.dat file. So first we have to close the no limit coin wallet. So if it's already open or running, close it. And then we have to find our wallet files folder. So if you're on Windows, you find the wallet files here under C, users, username, app data, roaming, no limit coin 2. So you replace username with your Windows username. If you can't see the app data or roaming folder, make sure you enable show hidden folders. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you're on a Mac, the wallet files are located here. It's under library, application support, no limit coin 2. So open up Finder and in the Finder menu on the top left of desktop, click on Go. You'll see a drop down menu. Now press the Option key. This will expose the hidden library. Okay, and I'm on Windows and as you can see, I'm getting the error loading blkindex.dat. So I'm just going to click OK or X and close the wallet. Make sure the wallet is not running. Then I'm just going to go to my C drive and then go to the Users folder. Find my username and then look for the app data folder. So if you don't see it, click on options and then click view and then click show hidden files, folders and drives. And I'm also going to uncheck hide extensions for known file types and click apply and okay. So there's the app data folder, click on roaming and then click on no limit coin two. And what we need to do now is copy our wallet.dat file and back it up onto at least two places. So I'm going to put it on a USB thumb drive and I'm going to right click paste. And I'm also going to copy it to my desktop. So it's good to have it on a separate USB thumb drive in case my computer ever crashes or dies. So you want to back up this file. It's very important because this has all of your NLC2 on it. So I'm going to go back to my C drive now. Now that I've backed up the wallet.dat file, I'm going to select all the other files, everything except the wallet.dat, and I'm going to delete these files. So you can either hit the delete key or right click delete, and then all the other files are gone. So as long as we have our wallet.dat file there, we're good to go. So now we're going to either install the latest version of the wallet and open it, or if we already have the latest version of the wallet, we're just going to open the wallet again. So when I'm recording this, the latest version is version 4021. And if you have that version installed or the latest version, you can check our GitHub in the link below to make sure you are on the latest version of the wallet. Uh, we just open the wallet again. So just double click on the shortcut, which should be uh, made on your desktop or in your Windows start menu. And you can see the wallet now loads. So the wallet will create all the files it needs and to start to download the blockchain again. As your wallet.dat file is still there, it will not create a new wallet file with a new random wallet address. It will load all your coins in. But you do have to wait for a few hours for the blockchain to sync and download again for your coins to show up. So just be patient, wait for the syncing of the blockchain to reach 100% and your coins will be there. So you can see back in our No Limit Coin 2 folder, the new files have been generated, but it is referencing and using our old wallet.dat file. So if you need any help or any support, please lodge a ticket on our website. Bye.